Hey guys, it's Sexy Week here on Cinefix because V-Day is this Friday. But let's face it, most of us hate Valentine's Day. Whether you have a date or you don't have a date, the whole holiday is just way too much pressure. So here on What to Watch, the show that lets you know what's streaming online now, we're letting you know how to boycott. This is the f Valentine's Day movie. First up is director Sofia Coppola's second film, Lost in Translation. If Valentine's Day has got you feeling lost, lonely, or just plain loserish, this is the movie for you. Bill Murray plays a washed up actor who finds himself depressed and alone in one of the most populated cities in the world, Tokyo, Japan. Want me to rip your stockings? Yes, rip my stockings, please. Rip your stockings? Yes. Yeah. Searching for any form of connection, he meets Scarlett Johansson, a newlywed who's still trying to find her own place in the world. The duo find fleeting solace in each other's company. But hey, isn't that what Valentine's Day is like all about? Finding someone that you can stand to be around for just at least a little bit of time? Fun fact, Sofia Coppola wrote this part with Murray in mind and said that if he wasn't in it, she wouldn't have even done the film at all. Actually, Murray has been quoted as saying that this is his favorite movie he's ever been in. Let me know what you think of Lost in Translation now streaming on Hulu. If Valentine's Day is making you feel like you want to stab somebody, go ahead and live vicariously through Glenn Close's character in Fatal Attraction. Glenn plays Alex Forrest, a woman who has an affair with a married man and then begins to stalk him. Don't answer my calls, you change your number. I mean, I'm not going to be ignored, Dan. When I say stalk him, that is definitely an understatement. There have been a bunch of copycat movies like Beyonce's Obsessed that have tried to achieve the greatness that is Fatal Attraction, but they all seem to fall short. Watch as Glenn Close goes absolutely insane trying to manipulate this guy to come back to her through any means possible. I'm pregnant. You'll have to watch the movie to see how nuts this woman actually is, but it'll definitely make you think twice before your next one night stand. So if you're feeling really bad about being alone on Valentine's Day, watch this movie and you'll be glad that you're all by yourself. Click the link below to watch Fatal Attraction now streaming on Netflix. Stop yeah, yeah. Next up is one of those movies you can't not stop and watch whenever you're channel surfing. It's The Wedding Singer. Please get out of my Van Halen t-shirt before you jinx the band and they break up. Adam Sandler plays a failed lead singer to a really cool band whose fiance leaves him at the altar because now he's just a wedding singer. He gets super depressed. Oh, somebody kill me, please! And then falls for Drew Barrymore, only to find out that she's engaged to be married to a total loser. Fun fact, both Carrie Fisher and Judd Apatow worked uncredited on the script. This movie is just a really good time. You've got cameos by Steve Buscemi, John Levitz, and Billy Idol, and it's classic Adam Sandler. Hey, do you like Flock of Seagulls? I can see you do. Also, it's the only movie on this list that actually has a happy ending, so watch it now on Amazon. Let me know what you thought of this week's list. I've seen these movies, so what should I be watching this year on Valentine's Day? Also, let me know what you guys are doing to celebrate, because I can make an excellent, awkward, third wheel. Yeah, it's my wheel days. Here's, I mean, I, I probably like wouldn't do this at dinner, but I don't know, like maybe afterwards we could like go out dancing or something. It'd be super cool. No? Okay.